Christy Cassiano, Jeff is off tonight. It is summer vacation for students, but keeping the roads safe is an all year round job for law enforcement. The United County Sheriff's Office releasing information showing some improvements in keeping kids on school buses safe from this past school year. The department is looking to expand its safety measures. News Channel 9's Jeremy Skiba, Skiba hears from the sheriff about this new plan. It's an incident like this one in Manlius back in March that the Oneida County Sheriff's Office is hoping to avoid. The department partnering with Vera Mobility, implementing the Crossing Guard School Bus Stop Arm Enforcement Program. The problem is most of these cases in, in the state, we could never figure out who the operator was. So that's kind of what drove the New York State Legislature to pass a new law, which allowed us to just have cameras on buses and capture the, the uh, vehicle passing it, and then we would cite the registered owner. During the 2022 to 2023 school year, before the cameras were installed, the Sheriff's Office gave out 24 citations to drivers passing stop school buses. The following year, with the cameras on bus stop arms, they issued 852. The system's pretty well set up. The camera turns on before the arm stop arm comes out, so you can see, when you view an event, you can actually see seconds before the event happens in the video. So you'll see that, yeah, the lights came on first, then the arm came out, and then there goes the vehicle pass by. Sheriff Mayshall wants to remind the public that with these cameras, it's not about catching drivers in the act. It's about making sure that children are safe. The most tragic thing that's going to occur is, is the child is going to get struck by the car. When that door opens on that school bus, those children are going to come off there pretty quick. And if a car is passing on the right side, believe it or not, we've had that happen. If a car is passing on the right side of a school bus, that child's going to get struck the minute they step off that bus. And getting caught is a hefty penalty, too. For the first violation, it's a $250 fine. Um, and, and then um, if they continue to uh, get cited a second and third time, uh, those violations could go up to, to $1,000. It's all about playing by the rules of the road. For News Channel 9, I'm Jeremy Skiba. Sheriff Mayshall says eight of the 13 school districts were part of that safety program last school year, and he's working to get cameras for the remaining five districts just in time for the start of the new school year.